Hi, I'm Olga, and today I'm going to show you how to use the body segmentation template. The body segmentation template provides several examples of using segmentation texture to create different visual effects and interactive experiences. Open Lens Studio and select the body segmentation template. Examples can be found under the orthographic camera. Let's check out them one by one. We are mostly using full screen screen images and post effects with segmentation texture, since they both create full screen experiences. Let's expand a screen image example, Synoptics Children. You can think of this example as a collage, where each screen image is placed on the top of another. Try to select and drag each scene object in the 2D scene panel. Two objects of this tag are different from others. Body image is an image created by masking a camera input with the segmentation texture. It's using a custom body transparent material. Body effect camera output is using default material and render target of a body camera as a texture. Let's look deeper into this. At the top of the object's panel hierarchy, there is a body camera, which renders to the body render target. It's a helper camera that allows us to apply some effects only to the user body. Make sure you have the render layer display enabled by clicking on the Choose Indicators button on the top of the object's panel and enabling the render layer option. Add more post effects from the object's panel and see how it affects the result picture. After adding new post effects, drag and drop them under the body effect camera and make sure that they have the correct render layer. You can also duplicate a body image or a body effect camera output scene object and place them on the screen to create person copies. Another way is to use segmentation mask to cut out things so they show up only behind the user. Let's expand the children of a body tracked example and find the right wing scene object. Now let's take a look at the material. This material utilizes two textures, one for the base texture, the wing image, and another for opacity texture, the segmentation texture. The wind texture, which is body attached, is being cut out by our segmentation texture. We can double click on the selected material to open the material editor and see how this works. As you can see, this material uses different UV coordinates for base texture and opacity texture. In this case, our base texture is displayed based on the coordinates of the object whereas our segmentation opacity texture, which is of the whole screen, utilizes the screen coordinates. The next example showcases how to create a cool animated poster with a person cut out. It creates this poster effect by doing the following. Composing the poster with screen images, disabling a camera to freeze the current frame, using a script to trigger step 1 and step 2, with a timer. You can see two child objects under the freeze frame example, scripts and composition. Let's first disable script and take a look at the composition. Same components we saw before are used here. Script images for background and body image and additional elements, as well as particles and twin scripts that will add movement to the composition after the frame is frozen. Try modifying each effect or making your own composition. Next, let's see the children of scripts. Timer script is a pretty simple interaction helper and can be easily reused for other delayed interactions with countdown. It uses a text component to show up a prompt to do some action, then it waits for someone to call it. When called, it starts a countdown and calls another custom behavior trigger at the end of it. In this case, we call the behavior custom trigger 
that will trigger a freeze function of the freeze frame controller script. This script enables and disables lists of 10 objects when called. In this case, we disable the camera, which will cause the render target texture to freeze. Lastly, the behavior of 10 object has three behavior scripts that start and reset timer based on user actions. Try changing the triggers or timer count. The last example allows us to create a sequence of different effects tied up to the audio clip timestamps. This example allows you to toggle scene object, call script API functions, or start stop twins at certain moments of the audio playing. Put what you want to modify or call at the top list, which will be called or modified in the time in seconds, shown in the bottom list. Everything we have to do now is to play audio clip. Whenever you start or stop it, the sequence will start or stop. For this purpose, we are using audio scene object. Click on the audio track field of the audio component to swap the asset. We are using the autoplay loop checkbox on the audio component to play audio when lens starts and the behavior script to restart audio when recording starts. You can easily integrate a timer helper script for this example too. Under the effects scene object, you can see some post-effect material examples to showcase what you can do with the body segmentation texture in Material Editor. Like before, select one of them, then right-click on the material field and select Highlight. Modify materials to your liking by changing material properties in the inspector. To do deeper customization, double-click on the highlighted material in the resources to open the material editor. All material examples have explanatory comments. You can even drive the material in real time when the lens is being used. Add dynamics to the material by driving a material property value with a twin value script. Disable script section of each example and freely mix and match screen images, post effects and other components to create crazy lenses for Spotlight. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lenses using the body segmentation template.